Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the SimFly Guide channel. Uh, we're continuing our stop through the Idaho backcountry. We're getting near the end, so some really cool stuff left, uh, but uh, having such a great time here. And let's get right to it. Um, today, we are going to be departing out of Chalice on Loon Creek. That was where our last stop, 48, was. We'll be continuing up Loon Creek until we get to Upper Loon. Right, so we were at Lower Loon previously. We're at Chalice on Loon right now. We're going to go all the way up here to Upper Loon Creek for stop 49. And stop 50, we're going to end up over at Chalice on Warm Spring, or also known as Foster Ranch. So we're going to be doing those two stops today, stop 49, which is U72 Upper Loon, stop 50, which is Chalice on Warm Springs or Foster Ranch. So really the first leg we're going to be looking at here, coming out of our nice little hidden valley here of Chalice on Loon, should be pretty straightforward. We're just going to basically be following, and let's let's look what it's going to look like when we, when we uh, head out of there. We may be taking off, departing downhill here and turning around in this valley, coming up here. And let's just see if we, you know, we're going to have to make sure we stay to the right here. Loon Creek uh, goes around this tight thing and then it'll split. There's Warm Spring. We're not going that way this time. This is an intersection. We're going to have to look at it, I think, for the next leg. But we're going to stay to the right. Continue up Loon Creek. Now we see three different creeks coming together. Continue to the right again. Um, we will not want to split it. And here, this is a pretty good looking uh, landmark just before we get into um, into Upper Loon. So really, if we're flying, just navigating here, we really are going to be coming. Let's see. We'll have to go straight up the middle. Steer to the right, and then kind of at the split here, we'll stay left. So it's hopefully be obvious. We want to continue to follow Loon Creek, but we are going to have a lot of intersections, so we just want to make sure we go the right way. All right, so that's that first leg, and then let's look really quick now on the way back once we leave Loon Creek, Upper Loon which is a Forest Service uh, station. We're going to be heading back down Loon Creek for a little bit. Flatten this out just a bit. We're heading down Loon Creek until we get to... All right, there's Cottonwood and a couple of them coming together here. This, this real serious thing here is where we're going to know that we want to go on Warm Spring instead of over this notch here with that real tight bend for Loon Creek. So... That's where we'll take a right. That's our landmark for that. And we'll be turning this way, heading up Warm Spring Creek until we get into Chalice on Warm Spring. So, some pretty interesting, uh, interesting uh, landmarks we have to kind of be looking out for. Um, we will also, we haven't figured out what plane we're going to take, but it's going to be important that we take something that can get in and out of some tight spots. I think today, from a user request, we're going to try out the, probably try out the Zenith. We haven't tried the Zenith in the backcountry yet, so that's probably our plane for today. Uh, let's go ahead and get in, get in and get started. Welcome aboard. Gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Good morning from Chalice on Loon Creek. Uh, welcome to the Simfly Guy channel. And we're continuing our backcountry tour here today. We're going to go for stops 49 and 50 today. So let's jump right on in. Power up this uh, Zenith CH, uh, wait, it's a Zenith 701, right? So, um, recommended by one of our viewers. 
as a pretty sweet backcountry ride, so we're going to give it a shot here. I have not flown this uh, hardly at all. I got one practice flight, uh, but we're going to try um, getting into our stops today. I'm sure, we have some backup navigation at our disposal. U72, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll So we're going here first. Uh, our next stop will be over to here. So, but first we're going into U72. And I'm going to put some flaps on here. And we should be ready to go now. So, all right. Parking brake is off. Okay, we hear that little click. That's just the uh, flaps automatically coming off as we reach over 60 miles an hour. Seems to be something this plane does a lot. Help you with uh, popping flaps off if your speed is not appropriate for them. So almost immediately after takeoff, they popped off. So we're gonna make our right hand turn here. And head up. Loon Creek. And it does seem like I, I can't see any red lines or anything, so it just sounds like the engine's working pretty hard, and I'm just going to pull it back just a little bit. RPMs are right up there near the top, so I'm going to keep it down just a little under 6,000 here. I don't even know what would be normal, but it just sounds, sounds not right. Working too hard. We can keep an eye on everything. Oil temperature, pressure, not bad yet. Water temperature, not bad yet, but... We'll just keep an eye on that stuff. Yeah, it's probably a Rotax in this, I'm guessing, given the RPMs are way up there. So it looks like we're not headed correctly towards Upper Loon, but we are going to be kind of, I think the, the creek kind of curves to the right up here, so hopefully that will bring us back on course, and we're going to be looking for landmarks again. Back where we just left off. I think this uh, intersection we're coming up to here is probably Warm Screen Creek on the left, so that would be the way we're going to go on our way back. So we're going to kind of look back, look at our landmark there, and we can kind of see this kind of notch where it bends right around, so it's a pretty obvious kind of looking landmark here. That'd be up towards uh, Warm Spring Creek right there. So keep that in mind, and as we go this way, we're going to go right here and follow Loon, continue to follow Loon. Looking back at our, you know, what are we going to be looking for on the way back at our intersection there? It's going to look like that. We're going to go right at that intersection on the way back. So continuing on here toward Upper Loon. And the country is pretty rugged. It's a bit windy, not too terrible. It's a nice, uh, nice morning for flying, but 
always going to get a, if you've got any wind, you're going to get a little bit of chop in the mountains here with all the terrain. The wind's flowing over, so keep an eye on that. Make sure we don't let our speed get too low. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's First I was thinking between 40 and 60 there. Is that is that supposed to be the white arc? But that just seems really slow, and this is... Can't tell if we're looking at kilometers per hour or miles per hour here. Uh, maybe miles per hour, okay. So we're going to continue on here at this intersection of. There's a crick on the left, there's one on the. Okay, so we're going to go right up here. This is Loon Crick, and you're really not noticing much of the crick anymore, so. Good thing we have our, our GPS back up here, because. If you're just trying to follow along pilotage and dead reckoning and looking for the crick, it's not obvious in flight sim that it's actually down there. I mean, you would think a water would be following as kind of a pathway, but that's really all you have to go on. Just kind of looking around at the inside of this plane. I mean, it's well equipped with instrumentation. I mean, well, you got a 530 there and uh, some some basic, some pretty decent package for a little, little stoll plane like this compared to some I've seen, which don't give you much of anything. Uh, there we go. That looks like uh, Upper Loon right there. All right, straight ahead. Okay, so we're going to start pulling some power back. Not really sure where a good speed is for this thing to settle down at, but I not really sure what's going on there with the speedometer or what it's trying to say. Uh, maybe 60 is the splaps range, and I don't know how much slower you can get after that, but we'll... Rain's rising, so I want to kind of get us up just a little bit higher than this so I have a better sight line on the approach. There we go. Okay, the shadow is deceiving there. I almost thought we were a lot shorter runway there. I see where it's, it is kind of hard at this point to, uh, I think we're just, we're okay right now. But yeah, I would I would have liked the shadow to not be exactly where it's at. Odd time of the day, here we go. That's a little better. We have a little bit of a crosswind here. Oh yeah, this is settling down quite nicely. Okay. Didn't even use any flaps on that, honestly, because we were already kind of into our flare by the time you could put flaps on. So I, the flap range on this is, is interesting. I'm not, not too sure. You, you'll use them probably very, very minimally, maybe for stole competitions or just at the last minute. Um, I'm not sure I like that, but I mean, I guess if you don't need them, even playing such a good stool, playing without them. So, all right, well, here you are, guys, at Upper Upper Loon, uh, U.S. Forest Service Strip. So, if I guess they need to get into some of this higher country, we're about 5,500 feet now, um, or just up into the headwaters here of the of the Loon Creek area. So it would be. How's our takeoff going to be here. Okay, we should be pretty good. Alright, so give us several a minute here. We'll put the parking brake on just a second while we go ahead and go direct to Q. 
KCHB, which will be Chalice on Warm Spring Creek. And I don't think that's a real identifier. I think that's just the one that the plugin uses. Um, uh, so it probably doesn't exist in your base uh, flight sim as an actual waypoint you can go to. So plugins will give you the waypoint to get there. So you probably want to go get those on flightsim.to, I believe, is where I got this one. So. Um, at any rate, we're on our way now to Chalice on Warm Spring Creek. And pop the parking brake off. Uh, put some our flaps in, one little setting there. Since And listen for that click. Watch right around 60. They'll, they'll just come off automatically. I won't even do anything here. So. Hear that? Click. There goes your flaps. Whether you wanted them to go off or not. Nice climber. Okay. Well, now we got to deal with some stuff. I mean, that's one of the things. The time of day can make a difference in how easy it is to come in and the direction you're coming from and all that kind of stuff. Where's the sun? You know, weather conditions and time of day and all that stuff can make a... Uh, they can definitely make a challenge for you. Some place that you flew into one day had no problem might be extremely difficult to impossible on another day. So you got to be kind of thinking of all those variables too but in, in real life even in the sim here for sure um, at any rate on our way we go to chalice this is stop 50 guys so 50 stops in the back country plus you know we've had a few extra because we've got some point fives in there so more than 50 stops and this is our penultimate trip we got one more stop after this to hop up to before our final destination in Chalice, uh, the actual Chalice Airport. So, Chalice on Warm Spring, here we come. Stop 50. Now this first uh, crick over here to the right that's coming in is not what we're looking for. We're going to go Remember, we looked at our landmark, and that's that's not it. So we got one more. I think the next one, and we'll confirm when we get there, a little closer. But the next one's probably uh, the one that's going to head us up Warm Warm Spring. Yeah, if anyone's ever flown a Zenith, I mean, uh, it would be helpful to understand. And I, I probably should have looked this up, you guys, but um, yeah, my bad. For the RPMs that you should be flying at and this, like I, what I said, I think is a Rotax engine. You know, what are the good, what's the, what's the minimum, you know, stall speed with uh, clean, I guess. And then maybe what is the stall speed if you've got full flaps? Don't think it's all the way down to round 40, but... Okay, so here looks to me like... That ridge coming off of that hill in front of us and that kind of real sharp zigzag, that is to me the... Con confirming we got to go right here. That's warm spring coming in the right. So we're going to go off this way. 
follow Warm Spring up to Chalice on Warm Spring. And just looking at our, it looks like we're basically heading the right direction on the GPS, so that kind of another good indicator. And again, we're running uphill here, so we're, you know, terrain rising, so we're at 6,000. So we're higher than we were at, well, Anyway, you can see we're, we're actually climbing this way. So we'll see what the elevation is at Chalice on Warm Spring. Uh, probably similar to Upper Loon. Might even be a little higher, I'm not sure. Take a look at the terrain we're flying over. It's just another day in the backcountry. Just all kinds of all kinds of good terrain to deal with. Now it gets me thinking a lot how self-sufficient you'd have to be to be a bush pilot out here. You would need to know how to hike out of places, how to camp shelter eat maybe I don't know you hopefully you just have a, a satellite radio and, and have a, another plane coming and get you but boy you could you could uh, have a bad day if your engine fails or if you you know have a bad landing or something like that you could if you didn't have some uh, good connections you would have a bad day out here in the backcountry need your network of support for sure you now it says we're close but it doesn't look like there's anything nearby does it so there we go okay so right around that hill there there's chalice on warm spring Flap in this time. Both sets, so, so we've got the all flaps in. Okay, and we're down here at Chalice on Warm Spring. Also known as, I think, Foster Ranch. But, uh, yeah. Flaps coming up. And the Zenith did pretty well. It's got a few quirks to it, I'd say. You know, the flaps thing is the biggest thing for me. Um, it is l very light, and so when we get wind and bumps off the terrain, it's not, uh, it, it's, it's very susceptible to that kind of stuff. But, um, Overall, pretty pretty nice little bush plane. Uh, so I would, yeah, you know, lesser wind days and uh, boy, just having a ball in this thing. It looks like a really nice, uh, looks like a nice option. It is much different, you know, the days uh, previously when flying the the De Havilland Beaver, much bigger plane, heavier. Uh, it doesn't even, it doesn't get bothered much by chop wind and stuff like that but uh this one if you get yeah some of these later ones you just got to be real careful on those kind of days so anyway here we are pull up here and i hope you guys enjoyed stop number 50 and 49 uh upper loon and now chalice on warm spring aka foster ranch all right, you guys have a great day. We'll see you on our final trip uh, coming up next. We'll be going up to Lewis and Clark up near Salmon, Idaho, and then down to end and jump back in our TBM to get back on our round-the-world trip. So we'll, we'll finish our backcountry tour in Chalice, Idaho. Stop in and say hi to Dad.
and then we'll uh, we'll be back in the TBM to complete our round the world trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been so much fun. Um, let's go ahead and get some of this stuff shut down, and we'll see you on the next trip. Welcome to Chalice on Warm Spring. So a bit windy, as it has been out here lately in the backcountry, and that's causing us some some turbulence and stuff. So starting to slow down here. There we go. Okay, there's our field, and I'm gonna pull up and get us into the flap range so I can keep. All right, there we go. Uh oh. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Break that stall, break that stall. Woo! Okay, so we got slow and some of these bumps were bad news, so. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Climbing up a little bit. And we're gonna go in and make that attempt again. That was nerve wracking. We gotta be real careful on the speed and probably just keep our speed a bit higher now because of some of the bumps and stuff we're getting. This is a lightweight vehicle right here, and so seems more susceptible to gusts and whatnot. Won't be the... So I may even come in like more no flaps landing on this one. Let's just try no flaps for now. Definitely bumpy. And we have just way too much speed, but I'm gonna slip a, little, slip a little bit. Drop some of that. Okay. Okay, we're coming through that notch there. I'll probably throw some flaps on just at the end now that we're, I'm not gonna throw all of them in, just this one notch here. Wow. Okay. That was... That was interesting.